Scientists have recently found that interbreeding has most likely resulted in the house mouse becoming poison resistant. Excessive pesticide use and agricultural practices by humans have driven the resistance further. The plague is spreading beyond the farmer's fields and into the surrounding homes. Oh. The mice were getting into everything they could, in your wardrobes, your drawers. The desperate homeowners can't hold back the tide of mice with traps. You'd set them all before you went to bed. If you heard any go off while you were awake, you'd get up and change them again. One night we had 30 in our house, trap after trap. The farmers use water troughs to trap the mice. The sea is the only place around Streaky Bay not infested with the rodents. This is a plague of biblical proportions. To be in the middle of a mouse plague is a surreal experience. They were everywhere. The ground's moving, they're going in all directions. You could see down the front of our house, the ground was just moving. It was just mice. The locals can't leave their homes. If they drive, they risk skidding off the road. Farmers don't want to go into their barns. The ground's moving, the walls are moving. Things are running on rafters, they're going in all directions. I've had a few go up my trousers leg, it's, it's not a good feeling. There is no refuge from the plague anywhere. Humans have adapted to destroy the mouse population in their homes by setting numerous traps that can be poisonous, but mice have adapted to become smarter when feeding on these traps. All mice are herbivores, which makes it easy for them to adapt to different foods such as grains, fruits, and seeds. When the people are gone, they climb into the kitchen and take anything that looks edible and take it back to their nest. These mice will do anything they have to do in order to survive. These mice have adapted to living in homes by burying themselves into the walls to avoid all human contact. They collected newspaper shreds and wood chips in order to keep warm. They prefer tight corners where they can dig deeper into the wall 